Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today, we are going to have ourselves a little whip and chatty ranch. What is a whip and chatty ranch, you may be asking yourself? Whip, W I P, stands for work in progress, and a chatty rant is me chatting and ranting about the goings on in my life over the last week or so. Today, my whip is Cheer Bear with Stars. It is by Regan Kubacek from Art and Soul Diamonds. And spoiler alert, I love this canvas. Like, we'll go into that. But <laughs> but it is amazing. Um, my supplies. Um, I'm not using my Bistro Blanks Care Bear pen because I'm worried the, the what do you call it? The thingy-mabobber up there filming the camera will uh, zoom in on it because it's like closer. So I'm going to be using my little... My little mini pen from Jim's Pen Shop on Etsy. I am using my Alien Putty because that is what I always use. I have two Bella Art De Nicole trays. I have my little trashy trays from Add More Zest. I have my Care Bear plate. This, you're just going to interrupt me just by meowing? Thank you. I had this Care Bear plate bowl cup set when I was a kid. I ate many, many a meals off of this plate and I found it and I was like, oh, I could put all my supplies on that. So we're using that. My adorable little cover minder from Elisa the Diamond Stitcher. My release papers from Bee's Crafty Corner and my Pippi release papers from Bee as well. Uh, I will go into that after we're done doing what I'm doing, uh, but she does not have any of her glossy papers. So she is not currently taking orders right now. Super sad. Um, what else, what else, what else? I have my Dr. Pepper Zero. I'm a little zoomed out for a good reason. I got a package. So I have a feeling I kind of know what's in here. This is from the lovely Miss Jill and Tom from Diamond Painting with the Edwards family. Uh, she heard one of my whip and chats and yeah. Well, we'll go into it when I... Can I use the smallest scissors ever known to mankind? Seriously. These are my scissors that I use to shove my putty and stuff in. So these are probably not the best scissors. But you know what? I can't reach the rest of the scissors on the table. So it's just going to have to to do what it's doing. Ugh, while I struggle, I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, nope. Nope. Can't be graceful. Can't just... Oh my gosh, seriously. Did you have to child proof it, Jill? Really? Seriously. <sighs> Cat proof it, I should say. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here's a card. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, and look. She put in stuff for Duncan. And he heard it. <laughs> I'm sure it's just filler, but that is not what Duncan's going to think. He is going to think that that is for him. All right, so <laughs> she sent me some Dolly Parton cornbread <laughs> because in one of my videos, I mentioned that I made cornbread and the cornbread tried to kill me because I was choking on it because it was so dry. And Jill recommended, and my cat's trying to steal the bag, uh, that I tried the Dolly Parton cornbread uh, because it's moist and buttery. And I said, I'm not sure if we have that. Because I know my, my grocery store does not have it. But I think our Walmart has the cake mix. But I don't know if they have the cornbread. So she sent me this. So thank you, Jill. I will definitely be trying it out very soon. And uh, Duncan, oh my gosh, that is bad. My release paper came off my section. Um, so there is that. I'm just going to go like that. Oh, and she sent me some, oh, a postcard, a postcard and a, a sticker from Uranus, <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. I love a good pun and I love a good, I love a good joke. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to have to hide this, these plastic bags. Oh, we have both cats now. Awesome. We're going, we're going really smooth today, guys. Really, we are. Okay. Sorry, boys. Um, ow. ow. Uh, no, no, no. So that will need to be hidden from 
you know whose and you know whose. So we'll put that aside. Um, so yes, you cannot order the Pippi release papers right now, but I will let you guys know when her supplier sends her the proper paper. Uh, super annoying for everyone, I'm sure, especially small businesses, man. Oh, so this is a picture of what my canvas will look like when I finish it. I currently have right about up to here. I've got a little, a little butt cheek done. Um, super adorable. Very happy with the canvas, the materials, the quality, the drills, the glue, the stick, the, everything is amazing. So if you are on the fence about ordering from Art and Soul, don't be. Okay, I'm going to pause because I need to go and put this box somewhere with the plastic bags. So I will be right back and we will be zoomed in and we will get started. Okay, here we go. Let me pick out, ooh, there's some crumbs. Not that I was snacking with that tree nearby. Heavens no. <laughs> uh, let me pick out a color and we will get started. Uh, diamond painting updates. I have only worked on this canvas uh, since our last whip and chat. I am obsessed and I have not wanted to stop working on it. So I haven't. And it's been a while since I've had, I've had a canvas or a project like that, where I literally am not tired of it or I don't want to work on anything else. So you know what? I am going to do what I want to do. Maybe after this row, I will pull out um, my fairy friend from Bella Art Diamonds. Uh, problem with that one right now is that I still need to finish migrating the diamonds over from the um, the first canvas that was having the kind of non-sticky problem. And doing that, it kind of hurts my hands because I have to use the tweezers and I can only pry two diamonds off at a time. And sometimes even then that doesn't really work. Uh, so this last week I have just not been in the mood. And so you know what? I haven't done it. And that's okay. You've got to do what you got to do. All right. Let's see what else diamond I have not worked on. Conversions. I did just finish recording a, ooh, that one's crooked. A uh, Kidding Down for Trinity of Peace. So nothing, nothing exciting to report on that canvas. I mean, it's Diamond Art Club, and if you've seen, you know, one post review or of a Diamond Art Club, you know, it's pretty standard. Pretty darn standard. What else? Um, yes, the Bees Crafty Corner. Paper. Paper gate. <laughs> so I feel, oh, I feel so, so, so bad when, you know, small businesses are, you know, they get sent something or a supply changes. Because I think what she said in her Facebook page was, that they, they changed, man, the manufacturers changed suppliers or the supplier changed manufacturers or somebody changed something and it's not suitable for, you know, printing what she's tried to print. Uh, so yeah, Ugh. no fun. Hopefully it is a shorter, shorter supply drought than what they have initially said. That's, that's rough. Okay, let me move my, I do, whoa, I do have some notes because otherwise I'm just going to be going completely off, off kilter and forget things that I maybe want to actually, you know, bring up. Let's see. So we have the, the Bella canvas, this canvas. Um, I have not worked at on uh, the Pam canvas. I am still trying to decide if I want to like get some replacement drills for some of the colors or, you know, soldier through. I don't really know what I want to do. So right now it's just hanging up. It is just chilling. I won't run out of things to work on. <laughs> Cause I still have, I still have a jaded gem shop on the way. And I have 
five art and soul kits on the way <laughs> and i have three from the one with the diamond art and then i have two from a new to me company coming as well uh, so yeah i'm not gonna run out of anything guys promise okay so my alien putty is a little overfilled right there so he got on my canvas but that's okay oh my gosh whoa okay that's what happens when you work flat when i worked on my easel i get diamonds everywhere because i drop them and then they just go on the desk and they bounce into my lap and you know on my blanket that i always have in my lap but when i'm working flat and they just fall onto the canvas and stick directly on the canvas which is fine too at least i don't lose as many diamonds I think that's it for diamond painting. I haven't ordered any supplies that I can remember. But, oh no, I did. Nope, nope, nope. I, I lied. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I did this last week or this week, but uh, I did order some papers from Bee's Crafty Corner before she said that uh, she was going to have to pause orders. And they are like, they're super adorable uh, Care Bear ones that are the Care Bears and the, you know, the clouds and rainbows and yeah uh, i did order those but other than that i don't think i've ordered anything but i could be wrong i'm not going to go scroll through my email because that's just that's just a little scary honestly guys <laughs> i went through it i swear i deleted i'm really bad at deleting emails so i probably deleted mm, i don't know almost a thousand the other day <laughs> And I try to unsubscribe, and but I swear, sometimes when you get on some kind of spam list and they're sending you things and then you, you open the email and you try to unsubscribe, I swear it just sends you more, more spam emails. You know, I'm no, I'm no specialist, but that's what it feels like anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. And huge, huge, huge thank yous to everyone who wished me a happy birthday last week. Super sweet. I, I hope I've responded to everyone. Um, it was a, it was a day, you know, I feel like when you get older, your birthdays are just, I don't want to sound ungrateful by any means, but you know, you're a parent. <laughs> and your birthday falls on a holiday weekend it, the birthday weekend is not going to be about you nor do i ever expect like birthday weekends or weekends in general to be about me <laughs> um but yeah i did get to sleep in a little which was nice and my my daughter went shopping for for her and my son because you know he doesn't care about shopping and she picked out a a plush it's a little cactus plush um and i have a feeling that cactus plush may end up living in her room because she's got sticky fingers when it comes to to stuffed animals okay that one has a little tab on it so put that one over there which is fine i i don't want the the plush to be sad and lonely uh, so i'd rather he get to hang out with his other you know plushy friends and then a little garden gnome to go outside and then some some candy that was nice and then you know unfortunately because easter was the next day uh, i had to had to start cooking and prepping food because we were hosting easter and it was just it was just us my mom who lives with us and uh, my husband's sister and her her boyfriend so it wasn't like a huge crowd of people by any means. I don't think I could host a huge crowd of people. I think my anxiety would basically make me just like have a nervous breakdown. So that was enough people for me. So the day before I did some of the, the prep work and then I did, let's see, what did I, what did we do on my birthday? Uh, we made the macaroni and cheese and then we frosted the lamb cakes. I will put a picture of the lamb cakes up. But uh, spoiler warning, uh, one of them's a little, one's a little much, I gotta say. <sighs> yeah, 
my son said that his his lamb had you know been crucified but you know the the green cross on its butt it it brought it it brought it back to life could you please not stand on my canvas i'm not in the mood for you cat um but yeah they i probably shouldn't have made the cakes so soon like too so far in advance um i made them on friday and they were a little dry on sunday i gotta say and the lamb what do you call it the lamb pan if you will it you know it's not going to give you much detail in the ways of <laughs> the little cracks and crevices in the face and i also failed because i did not purchase the you know the icing that comes in the the tube that's already kind of pre-made and you know thicker that you can do detail with yeah i forgot to buy that so all i had was um food coloring gel icing uh, yeah so it was it was a mess but it's fine it's the fun of the the experience that one has a little spot on it and there's that little nubbin of trash so the lamb cake was a little dry luckily we had ice cream so you know just moistens it right back up um but so that was yeah so we didn't but we ate the lamb cake on easter obviously we weren't gonna eat it early uh so we we did the food prep and i did make my husband help me because you know it was my birthday uh, and then we went to church because they were having some saturday services and then they had a kind of like an easter celebration for for the kids afterwards um and you know it was good they had a petting petting animal area they had some bunnies and they had some alpacas that they could feed and you know pet and and all the stuff there was a an obstacle i mean it wasn't like an obstacle course but it's one of those you know inflatable obstacle course thingies uh, but there was a weight limit and a height limit and unfortunately the teenager doesn't really fit on stuff like that so he was kind of bummed because he wanted to do it you know because it looked fun so it's kind of the the pitfalls of getting older and growing up you don't get to do as much of the you know the i mean i not that that's a little kid thing but you start getting too big for some of the stuff that you that you want to do Let's see i will do the nines so the one thing i did notice and i didn't point this out was that the hang on so the lowercase a and the nine are they're similar in color on the canvas and they definitely are a little tricky if you're not paying attention which i'm sure i put some on the wrong one but we're just going to ignore that and i am using a microphone uh, so if it sounds uh, weird or anything that is why i'm still kind of learning where to clip it and and all this stuff let's see so we did that oh yes so there was a um what do they call it it's a cookie dough truck so instead of you know ice cream they have cookie dough that you can eat you know just raw and i have wanted to try this this cookie dough truck because sometimes it'll come and do like a neighborhood thing near us but i've just never been able to do it so i saw that they were going to be there and i was like oh it's my birthday perfect so i wanted to get cookie dough <laughs> that was my goal like we're gonna go to the service we're gonna do the stuff and i'm gonna have cookie dough well i kind of didn't really warn the kids that that it wasn't it wasn't ice cream it was cookie dough and so i said that it was cookie dough but i don't think they really grasped that it was like cookie dough you know uh so they both got the same the same flavor and they both wanted ice cream and i was like are you sure you really want ice cream because that might be a lot because we were going to go out to dinner and they both said no 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 we want the ice cream well it's probably good they got the ice cream because they both did not like the cookie dough and i think it was the factor that you know number one it's it's cookie dough <laughs> and you're eating you know a i mean it's not a big bowl but it's still you know a bowl of, of cookie dough and it wasn't really cold so it was kind of room temperature 
And then they both got ice cream with the cookie dough. And so the ice cream was kind of making the cookie dough harden. <laughs> it was a mess. And to top it all off, it was not cheap. Because, you know, nothing's cheap. So that was kind of a bust. And the one I got, honestly, it was not as amazing as I thought it would be. So I'm just going to stick to eating my own cookie dough before I make cookies. <clears throat> yeah, lesson learned. But I wouldn't have known if we hadn't tried it. Uh, so then we hustled over to the egg. egg. It's, it's not a hunt because, you know, there's hundreds of kids. And they put out, I think they put out like 20,000 eggs over all the different egg hunt times that they did it and they had the ages separated you know so there was like third through fifth and you know kindergarten first second etc and then the little ones and they were spacing out the times so you know everybody was going at the same time and it was all in different areas of the field blah 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 well the area that my daughter was in wasn't supposed to start until three and luckily we went a few minutes early i mean we were there at I don't know. It was like maybe not even 10 minutes before it was supposed to start. And the the lady who, you know, was kind of, and I don't want to say hosting because it's not hosting, but she was, you know, in charge of, she's holding the microphone. So she's in charge. And she was saying, hey, everybody, you know, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Well, she said something and I don't know exactly what she said, but one kid, I guess, thought that she said that it was going to be time to go. I think she said something like, or, you know, okay, wait for me to listen and I'll tell you when it's time to go. He heard go. So this kid bolts into the field. I mean, he is running like zombies are chasing him. Well, his parents are like, wait, wait, come back. And then another kid runs. And then everybody starts running. So we were just like, go, go, go. Because if you don't go now, I mean, they're not going to be able to reel all those kids back in. At this point, it's already a mess. So the field got overtaken by third through fifth graders. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, the eggs were picked up, you know, in seconds. I mean, maybe less than a minute, honestly. But yeah. But I felt so bad because there were kids who, you know, weren't there yet. Because it technically started, I think, at three. And it was 2.55. Uh, yeah, so the kids were walking down the field and they're like looking around like, what the heck? But they had lots of extra eggs that they had. And, but yeah, so. So I don't know if this one kid, you know, he really just heard it wrong or he just figured he could start a, you know, riot. But it was humorous to say the least. I'm just glad we were there on time. Oh, touching, touching everything. So we went to dinner afterwards and, you know, uneventful, expensive food. Is it amazing? Eh, not really, but, you know, I didn't cook, so that was nice. That was a, a nice thing because I refused to cook on my birthday. I don't care what people eat but I am not preparing it. We didn't get home until probably like 5.36. We ate, we ate kind of early just because we went straight from the church thing. Cause I was like, if I go home and I'm going to change out of my clothes and then somebody's just going to have to bring me food from somewhere because I'm, I'm not going to, if I get to sit down and relax, I'm not going to want to leave the house again. So so I didn't get to diamond paint on my birthday until almost, oh, what time was it? I think it was probably like 6.15. I was like, okay, everybody needs to leave me alone now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done peopling. I need to be left alone. And they did. So that was nice. So I sat there. I worked on my Care Bear canvas. Had myself a... I, no, I didn't. I didn't actually have the Diet Dr. Pepper that day because we were out and I can't drink it at 6 p.m., man. I will be up all night long. So I think I had a sparkling water or something. So yeah, that was that. Was that. And then the next day was Easter. So we woke up. 
start, you know, frantically cleaning as one does when you have people coming over because, you know, I mean, my house isn't dirty, dirty, but we're definitely cluttery people. And so you, know, you got to wash the dishes and all the stuff from the day before and pick up. And uh, my sister-in-law's boyfriend is allergic to cats. So he has to take allergy medicine or, or Benadryl or something before he comes over. Uh, just so, you know, he can breathe properly. I don't think he's deathly allergic, but he still kind of gets congested and clogged. And, you know, when you get like eh, eh, that kind of thing. I think that's how it is. Uh, but then I was kind of worried because, you know, when you have pets, their hair gets everywhere. And as, as much as you want to, you know, make sure that no cat hair gets in, you know, a, a sauce or, or something or a food in the kitchen, I mean, it's, you know, if you know, you know. So not that I'm like purposely adding cat hair to my food or anything like that. So I was kind of like, I really hope that, I don't think he's, he's not deathly allergic because I mean, they've been over and, you know, eaten food in our house before and he's still alive. So I know he's not, he hasn't died, uh, but still, I never really thought about that. Like, you know, if somebody ingests cat hair, like, I don't know what part of the cat he's allergic to. Is it, you know, some people say it's the dander. Some people say it's the saliva. It could differ from person to person. I don't know. So these fairy dusts are, let's see if I can show you. They are so pretty. I love, love, love them. I chose these over the ABs in this kit. And I'm so glad I did because number one, I hate placing ABs. They just, ooh, they suck the life right out of my soul. And these are just beautiful. This, it's this, this light pink right there. And then um, the red, which I have not received the replacement reds, which is fine. I think the only place the red is, is in the tummy rainbow. Uh, so I will just leave that section covered and work around if I don't have them in time, which again, is fine. I have lots of things to work on. So I figured I'd get maybe that far and then I might pick up a different canvas and work on that. We'll see. Who knows? So yeah, this is the pink. Whoa, that's super close. Sorry guys. Didn't mean to like make you feel like I'm going to knock you in the face. And these diamonds are so square. They are just, ooh, they line up so nicely. They shake nicely. Ugh. So I I needed to work on this canvas. I am so glad, so so glad that I took I took the chance because it's scary to order you know a canvas from a company you've never tried. You know, especially because you know if you're paying for for licensed artwork, you know it's not it's not free. It's not, you know, it's not like, you know, ordering a, a canvas from, you know, Amazon or, or one of the budget companies. Like it's, you know, it is, it is a significant higher price. Um, and I am incredibly grateful that I am able to, to purchase canvases. And I, I feel, you know, I feel good knowing that me buying a canvas from a company that uses licensed artwork, that the artist is getting paid and compensated for their hard work. Because if we didn't have people making art, you know, then what would we be diamond painting? You know, the robots can only do so much. They can only do so much. I wish they would come and clean my house for me, but they don't. It's so rude. So, okay, whoa. Maybe don't try to put two diamonds in the same spot. That might be helpful. Let's see. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, so I did make a ham for, for Easter dinner and we have a, we have a giant raccoon that comes in our backyard and it, you know, triggers the ring camera at night and 
he wanders through on the back patio. Well, my husband decided he was going to give him a little Easter present. And he left the, the ham bone out on the back patio. And we got to watch the video the next morning of me, Raccoon, coming up and kind of like looking at it. Not really sure what to do. You know, is this a trick? And he left it in the, um, what do you call it? The, the metal, you know, like the disposable pan, basically. And so he tried, the raccoon tried to grab it out of the pan and it made a loud clinking, clanging noise. And so it kind of scared the raccoon off, but it only took a few seconds for him to you know, get brave again and try to snatch the ham. But it was so big that he just kind of got a small piece off. But he eventually did come back and he drug the ham somewhere. So I really hope that I don't find some rotting ham carcass in my yard somewhere. Uh, luckily, we do have five acres, so he probably would have taken it further into the yard. And I don't go into that part of the yard because that's where all the uh, creepy crawlies and you know, snakes and the high, high grasses, and I do not wander that far because I do not need something to to touch me or snatch me or something. Blech. Nope. I stay in the, <laughs> it's like, you know, Lion King, you know, everything the light touches. Yeah. Wherever there's short grass, I will go. Wherever there's long grass, nope. That is a somebody else problem, not a me problem. And that's mainly my husband then, because I don't, I don't go into the long grass. But he's also, I'm not allowed to, to mow the lawn or anything, because I did try to use the, the riding lawn mower once, but he said I was going too slow. I was just trying to be a little cautious, plus our yard is very field, field-like, and um, we, we have a lot of moles. They like our yard and there's nothing we can do to get rid of them unless we, you know, hire someone to, to sit out in the yard with a sniper rifle and murder them as soon as they start, you know, burrowing. I don't really understand how you get rid of moles. Uh, our yard is very bumpy and lumpy and it's not flat. <laughs> uh, so I don't feel comfortable mowing the yard at full throttle like he does. Uh, number one, because it hurts my back. You're jostling around non-stop. It's like, blah, 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 blah. So I feel like I'm going to chip a tooth or something. So he told me I was going too slow, and it would take me all day to mow the yard. So he never asked me to try again. So I'm like, okay, fine. I will delegate that yard task to you with pleasure. So, but then I usually end up having to weed or something, which I'd rather drive the lawnmower than hunch over and pull all the, the giant chunks of grass out of the flower beds because we have the most aggressive grass known to mankind around here. There's nothing I can do to get it out of our flower beds except for pave the flower beds over and maybe just, I don't know, put up a, a flower pot or like a basket or something because it just we've lived here what seven years now oh my gosh and every year it's the same struggle and it doesn't matter i could go out there every day and the second i see a grass stalk poking up doesn't matter because you can never get all the grass you can never get the full the full grass stalk the full grass root if there's even just a little sliver could you not try to steal my diet dude what are you doing He's like literally trying to steal the container of drills out of my Elizabeth Ward. Uh, no. Duncan! Okay, well, I'm going to move that over there. Because you are being naughty. Seriously. Oh, I swear to these cats. <laughs> Kitty. You are being bad. No. 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 
Now I can't work on my canvas because you're messing me up. Seriously. This is why I'm not allowed to have nice things. Okay, this doesn't work for me. I need to be able to put this down. You need to move. You need to move. You need to move. All right. Pets are so fun. If he actually steals one of my things of drills and takes it and hides it, he's going to be in some deep... Oh, I just touched my hair to the camera. Sorry, guys. That's him. That's not me. That is him trying to... Mm. You can go away now. You can go away. Okay, straighten those up. We're a little messy. It's okay. I'm a little bit of a messy, messy, messy diamond painter. <laughs> it's okay. They straighten up eventually, and if they don't, it's fine too. I'm not trying to be the best at diamond painting. So I was trying to Google. <laughs> The things I Google, okay? This is actually pretty tame. But I was trying to... Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to say the G word? Mm, sorry. <laughs> Somebody mentioned on my Facebook group. They're like, please don't say that word. Because my my uh, my search engine home robot... There you go. Uh, kept getting confused. So I was trying to search on the interwebs. There's a way to change your Apple Watch. So it makes more than two noises. Because, you know, I feel like a text message makes a certain noise. But then everything else makes the same noise. So the ring, the ring alarm makes the same noise. The front door alarm makes the same noise. The Facebook Messenger makes the same noise. The XYZ makes the same stankin' noise. And so I was trying to, you know, use the, the, inter the internet to figure out if I could, you know, download another sound or something. But you can't, and I, I really don't understand that. I mean, if Apple has mastered technology like they have, how can they not shove a few more tones into the watch? Hmm? Anybody work for Apple? Anybody want to let me know? Because it's annoying. So I'm constantly thinking somebody's in my driveway. But really, it's just like Facebook Messenger sending me, you know, all these updates or, you know, some other weird notification doing it. So, yeah, we can <laughs> we can do a lot of things in this world, yet we can't make our watch make more than two noises. Speaking of random things, so I live in Washington, if you're new, um, we have a... We have a big homeless crisis in Washington, um, and, you know, there's different opinions, obviously, about, you know, where people are spending money and how to help the homeless situation, you know, should we be buying them gift cards where they can, you know, spend the money, whatever they want, you know, buying, like, the, the, the city and the counties, they buy hotels that people can stay in, but then... You know, people are doing drugs and illicit things in the hotels. Like, it's a thing. <laughs> so, I get a news alert. And it says that uh, Washington has passed the Stripper Bill of Rights. Stripper, not like a paint stripper. No, like a dancer. And I'm trying to read the article and I'm, you know, obviously, you know, people are allowed to do whatever job they want to do not not saying you know anything wrong not wrong whatever um but the fact that i guess the fact that bothered me about this whole article and they're because like they're saying they really want to push so these clubs can serve alcohol because they want to make more money and but then they're trying to put more safety things in place for you know the dancers which obviously because when people drink Sometimes they don't make the best choices, so I would not feel comfortable around a bunch of drunk people if I was, you know, taking my clothes off. But I would never take my clothes off because nobody wants to see this naked. 
So anyways, sorry, I gotta get my little, get my little thing. Oh, I lost my paper. I lost my paper. Oh, I just touched the microphone. Sorry. Basically, they were saying that they wanted to, you know, create some more, more safety protocols, which is good. Uh, but then there were all these other things. Then they're trying to, you know, make all these, these rules and regulations and, and all these things. And it just kind of made me mad because Washington State can't figure out how to give all school children free lunch. Okay. We're talking about kids who, you know, might not come, you know, from families who can afford basic necessities, like giving their kids breakfast and lunch. So we can't figure out how to give all of the school kids free lunch and maybe even free breakfast, but people had to actively, actively work and create this stripper bill of rights. I'm like, where are the priorities? Like, can we take care of the kids, please? Because they're the ones who are innocent. And they're not asking to be in the situations that they're in. You know, obviously, like, you know, if you choose to be a stripper, you are choosing to do that. Unless you're being human trafficked, which, you know, I, I know nothing about. I just know what I see on YouTube. Um, but I just feel like, can we take care of the kids, please? I mean, we live in an area where it's, there's a lot of low income families. And I know a lot of them utilize the, the free lunch system. You know, and I mean, that's what it's there for. But then our local district doesn't always apply to have the whole school qualify. So then the individual families have to qualify. Well, when you have a bunch of families who, you know, there's different languages being spoken at home. And if people don't, you know, fully understand that they might have to fill out paperwork to qualify their kids for, for lunch and whatnot, like, it's just, it's a mess. So yeah, but let's take care of the strippers. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I just can't with people sometimes. This is why I can't play like poker or things like that because I can't control my facial expressions. So I just always look like that was my cat. I'm just one eye roll away from getting myself into trouble. And I'm not criticizing anyone. Please, nobody come for me saying I'm discriminating against strippers or, or jobs or whatever. I am not saying that. I'm just saying I don't really know if I want my tax money being focused on creating stripper bill of rights over, you know, taking care of families and children in need. That's all. So. <laughs> Anyways, that's a nice lighthearted topic right there. Oh, I was going to ask. Okay. So has anyone ever seen an ad on one of my videos, right? Because I was looking, I've been doing some research with YouTube and because, you know, everybody, everybody's always, you know, the 1000 mark, I need 1000, I need 1000. And I fully don't quite understand why. So I was trying to understand why I was using the, um, the, the internet web searcher and I was trying to figure out why is this 1000 number? Why is this the magical number? Right? Because again, I, I don't, I don't quite understand. And, you know, I know you can get monetized after you hit a thousand, but from what I've read, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get rich. If I allow ads on my videos, uh, if I only have, you know, a thousand subscribers or whatever, I saw a very large discrepancy in the amount of money I could potentially make, right? One thing said you could make between five and $50 a month if you have ads and, you know, depending on all the things. And then another thing said, what was it like between, you could make between, you know, 25 and a thousand dollars a month with 1000 subscribers. That seems, that seems high. I mean, maybe you could, I don't know, again, as I've never done it. Um, but I just know personally, I hate ads. I mean, that is literally why we bought YouTube premium because the ads are just annoying. I find them distracting and, you know, if it's just one ad in the beginning, that's different. But 
I mean, I'm sure we've all been watching a video and there's, I mean, an ad every 10 minutes. And when you're watching an hour long video, that's a lot of ads. And I'm impatient and I don't want to stop, you know, diamond painting to reach over and, you know, push a button because I'm lazy. I fully admit that. Why am I doing, I don't even know. Jeez, I don't even know what color I'm doing. Um, so yes, let me know. Have you seen an ad on one of my videos? I don't have a thousand subscribers, but I did say that sometimes they will put ads on, you know, videos that don't. But I've never seen any money. So I, I, again, I don't know. I'm just curious. And I'm not, you know, and I'm not shading people who allow ads on their videos. I mean, I, it, if I could make a bunch of money, yeah, I'd love to. I just don't know if me putting ads on videos, if I hit a thousand subscribers, is going to really, I don't know, supplement my income enough to make it worth it. I don't know. Again, this is like a whole new world. I only started doing the YouTubeage in, I think it was July. Um, yeah, so I don't really know. But anyways, if you haven't, here, let me just do a little self plug right there. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so I can reach that magical, magical, magical 1000 number. <laughs> I'm not going to say smash that like button because that just, that makes me cringe when people say that. No offense if you say that, but mm -mm. I don't think I could say that with a straight face. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just touched the camera with my head again. Hopefully, nobody's seeing my messy, messy hair. So, I did not plan this very well because I should have left more of the light colored section open because the darker colors are a little bit harder to see, but that's okay. We will just randomly put them down where they belong and everything will be peachy, peachy as pie. Where are we going? Where are we going? So I am thinking, well, I'm always thinking. My brain doesn't stop thinking, guys. Even when I'm doing other things, my brain is constantly going. Um, but I have been thinking, like I want to maybe do like giveaway. I have, get out of my way. Um, I do have a few canvases that, I'm like, am I really ever going to get to these? Mm, probably not. And it doesn't seem like I'm ever going to stop ordering canvases. Uh, so I have some that I would like to potentially do do a giveaway, give a giveaway, giveaway, a giveaway with. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to go about that kind of thing because then I would have to mail them uh, but I mean, it can't be that hard right i mean i did sell things on etsy but etsy printed all that you know like the postage type stuff you just weighed it and and it was all small stuff it was not like a big big old diamond painting canvas that you know weighs more than a what do they call those you know the flat rate flat rate envelopes like that's all i used was the flat rate envelope so <clears throat> I have been thinking about that. So we will we will get more information as my brain progresses. Okay, go in there. Let's see, was there any other randomy randomy stuff that I can think of? I mean, there's lots of random stuff that goes in my brain, but yeah. I have been kind of, not like, I don't want to say like dealing with anxiety, but I just, you know, I always have that, I always have that anxiousness in the back of my, the back of my brain, <laughs> as a lot of us probably do. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how many amazing, awesome things that are going on in your life. Sometimes... You know, you just read one kind of email or you see one, one post or you hear one thing or, you know, somebody tells you something and it just 
it completely throws you off guard and it makes you feel like, oh my gosh, this is all so hard. Like what, you know, you get on that anxiety spiral, you know, and I just, ugh, I hate it because it's like, I feel like I have so many amazing things in my life. You know, I am, I know that I am beyond blessed, but it's so easy to get into that poor me, you know, my life is so hard. My life is so horrible. Everyone's life is better than mine mindset. So I really have got to be, I've got to be better about that. And I have a, I have a good friend and, you know, she, I, <laughs> I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anybody who, who thinks this way is wrong or, you know, whatever. Um, but she's always been a big, like, you know, don't let the enemy take control of your thoughts. And I'm always like, oh, geez, you know, like I have hard, like I've always had a hard time with that kind of thinking was like that, you know, there's an outside force, you know, steering my brain towards, you know, negativity or, you know, trying to screw with me basically. <sighs> but kind of like, I'm kind of believing it a little bit more now. And so I really got to get a rein in the thinking and, you know, focus on the important things and do what I need to do to, to make my brain focus on the important things and to deal with things in a, in a healthy way, not in a shut it down way or like, you know, shut my brain down or I need to take a nap because I'm overwhelmed kind of way. So yeah, what do you guys do? when you feel kind of like, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you just kind of feel like, okay, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Or, you know, you kind of feel like, you know, you feel like you're under attack. Like, and I definitely have noticed it because we've had like some, some good things happen, you know, like my husband has a different position at job at his job. And like, you know, it's like, oh, wow, this is really great. But then it's like, all these little like things go like beep 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 and it's like oh and it makes you instantly think about the the bad thing the negative thing and it you don't you don't think about all the amazing things so yeah, that's a little bit of a ramble but let me know how you guys feel with those kinds of feelings because i need some i need some healthier ways to deal with things besides you know scrolling youtube or or facebook or you know, like that's, that's not going to help anything really. Um, so yeah, got to get into the positivity train. Woo woo. So we all can be accountable to each other. <laughs> ah, I keep touching the cam. Sorry guys. I keep touching the camera with my head. I'm a mess. It's fine. Okay. My hand is covering the symbols with the shadow, but so it's like, it's like an eclipse is going over the canvas and I can't see what I'm doing. So, all right, do a few more of these and then we will wrap this bad boy up. Hopefully the audio is not a mess with me wearing a, a microphone. Oh my gosh, hopefully not. Where did those go? Those went all over the place, didn't they? Okay, where? Nope. Wrong. Wrong. So we gotta go do some more adulty things. Blah. Right? No, oh, thank you. Boring. I did get to diamond paint for quite a few hours yesterday. That was kind of like my belated birthday present to myself. Uh, so that was amazing. I was like, I just I need to be left alone. I just, I really want to do big old fat chunky section of my canvas want to watch some youtube watch some diamond painters watch some true crime you know and just kind of zone out but you know my cats are zooming and being annoying so i don't know what their deal is besides they're annoying Okay, I think I just covered up one that wasn't green. That's okay. I won't tell if you won't, guys. So, all right, I think we are going to end it there. If you have not, go ahead and smash that like button. Yep, I know. I said it. If you're still here, thank you. Uh, if you want your own Pippi the Crafty Peep sticker, 
Google Doc is in the description box. The link to the Facebook page is in the description box. I'll list all the supplies that I'm using in the description box. You can donate a million dollars in the description box. Just kidding. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> I mean, unless you really have a million dollars laying around. Totally would take it. Not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, I don't think any of us are that lucky <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but if I ever win the lottery, I will gladly share the wealth uh, with some of you guys, I promise. Diamond paintings for everyone. I'm like an Oprah. You get a diamond painting and you get a diamond painting. Um, all right. I better go before this gets even more awkward. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Big, big awkward hugs.